Hey guys. Guys. Hey guys. I'm back with another video about Chrome OS. If last week I thought I was done with Chrome, some of you reminded me in the comments of my previous videos that I still have to do one more Chrome OS Windows 10 dual boot system. This tutorial will be simple because we will skip Linux and bootable USBs and we will do everything in Windows. All we need for this to work is grub to win which is an open source program that allows us to safely boot more operating systems on the same device. The grub to win code, which is a text file with a code that, as you will see in the video, will make all this possible. The Chrome OS image, which in this case, is called Ramus image. If your CPU is 3rd gen or lower, then download the same image, but if it's 4th gen or more, then stick with Ramus. Down in the description you can find the grub to win software and grub to win code available for download. If you want to learn how to make a Ramus image, please follow my instructions from my previous video. How to make a bootable Chrome OS USB. In that video is everything you need to know about making a Ramus image and together with the grub to win software and code is everything you need to make a dual boot system. First step is to create a new partition. To do that, you have to go to startup and type disk partition. There you will find create and format disk partitions. Click on it and inside you have to select a partition to shrink. In my case, I select the partition D because my partition C is NVMe M.2 drive and the name will not be SDA. But if your partition C is HDD or a 2.5 inch SSD then stick with it. Right click on the partition and select shrink volume and add the amount of space to shrink. You can put anything higher of 14 gigs because that's the minimum amount required. As a tip, I suggest not to sacrifice too much memory, because Chrome will also not use more than 14 gigs. I chose 50 gigs, but 20 would have been more than enough. Right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. At name type Chrome OS, exactly how is written in the grub to win code. Now that the Chrome OS partition is created, click on it and inside create a folder with the exact same name, Chrome OS. And, like I said before, make sure that the name is the exactly like in the grub to win code. To make sure you don't spell the name wrong, right click on the Ramus image, rename and copy. Go to the grub to win code and replace the X image with the copied Ramus image. Once this is done, go back to the Ramus image, copy it and paste it in the Chrome OS folder that you just created. Next step is to install Grub to Win. If it happens to get this type of error, where it says that secure boot is enabled, you have to restart your system, go in BIOS, and, under UEFI, disable secure boot. Once your system is restarted, reopen Grub to Win and click on the partition list. 
Inside the document you will find the partition you just created. On the left side you will see written partition, followed by a number. You need to go to the grub to win code, and replace the x next to SDA with that number. Go back to grub to win and click on manage boot menu. After that, select add a new entry. The type, choose custom code, a title, write Chrome OS, and when you are done, click on edit custom code. Inside this note file you will copy paste the edited grub to win code, and save it. Now you can restart your system, and the grub to win should open at boot. If it doesn't, then go to boot menu and select it from there. As you can see, everything works without any problems, from Play Store, downloading and running apps, to YouTube and files, it's a full-fledged Chrome OS system, or better said, a full-fledged dual boot system. I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and, why not, subscribe, so you won't miss any future videos.